Before we start the troubleshooting process to determine whether there is air in the suction line causing decreased pump performance, for reference, this is what the pump should look like when working correctly. Notice the sound of the motor as the pump is running. Nice and smooth. This is how the pump should act when working correctly. Now let's begin the troubleshooting process by priming the pump and plugging the T. The pump is primed and the T is plugged. Let's see what happens. Let's work through the possible areas of concern. As you may have noticed, the plug was tightened by hand, rather than securely with a wrench. Without a firm seal at this connection, air can enter the suction line, resulting in the pump not working and or sustaining damage. Let's properly prepare the plug by adding pipe dope and tightening it with a wrench, and see if that resolves the problem. As you can see, the plug was not the problem, so we'll examine the hose fittings. You can wrap plastic wrap tightly around a potential air leak path, union joint or cam fitting, and turn the pump on. If an air leak exists, the plastic wrap will tighten to the area or show water movement. Now that we have confirmed that there is an air leak within the suction line, we'll examine the assembly to check for damaged components. One thing to check is for whether or not the plug is properly prepped with Teflon tape or pipe dope. If it's not, as in this demonstration, the seal will not be tight and will interfere with your pump running correctly and may even create an air leak. Another place to check is the cam ear placement. Ears that are horizontal to the ground might allow for downward pressure to wear on the gasket. Ears should be in a vertical position so the locking mechanism is engaged. Always remember to make sure there are no raised areas in the hose where air can get trapped. Your customers may not believe that the problem lies in the suction. Sometimes it may take some convincing. The troubleshooting steps laid out in this video should help you to explain, ask questions, make suggestions, and isolate the problem in a way that will satisfy the customer and get their pump back and running.